Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is a Nature at Your Door on the road episode. Filmed in Switzerland in September 2022 in the canton of Ticino on the trail from Milano to the Cascada di Boto. This episode is all about the biology and natural history of Europe's toxic but amazing fire salamander. Right here in your backyard. You never know what you're going to find. The fire salamander, scientific name Salamandra salamandra, is recognized by its conspicuous bright markings and a black background. They're typically yellow, but they may appear orange with red spots. These brilliant markings have led to its name fire salamander. Alternatively, theories of the origin of its name may come from the Middle Ages where people saw the salamander seemingly come out of logs placed in a burning fire. Naturally, they hastily concluded without further scientific experimentation that the salamander was actually born of fire, and hence the name fire salamander. In fact, this salamander can cover its body with a slimy venom, which could theoretically protect it briefly as it escapes from a log and a burning fire. Consequently, the scientific name salamander comes from mythology and means a lizard-like organism that lives in fire. The bright colors on the fire salamander is what biologists call literally honest singling. Honest singling means that this salamander is very toxic if eaten, and its bright warning color is not a trick. This type of coloration is called aposematic coloration. Aposematism is advertising or singling to potential predators that it's not worth attacking or eating because of the venoms or spines or bad taste or because it is, in fact, poisonous. In this case, the fire salamander has very toxic poisons that can release both on the surface of the skin and remarkably from two parotoid glands on the top of its head. These salamanders can spray this toxin into the mouth or eyes of a potential predator. These remarkable salamanders can be found across much of southern and central Europe in the mountains and hills between 820 and about 3,000 feet in elevation. As a current resident in southwest Virginia in the Appalachian Mountains, I can't help to notice how similar the habitat is here where these mountains harbor some of the richest salamander diversity in the world. Within the fire salamander range of southern and central Europe, they prefer deciduous forests and hide in leaf litter and are often under things like moss-covered logs. They tend to be active at dusk and at night, but on rainy days you may find them walking across the forest floor just as I found this one. Remarkably, these salamanders actually shed their skin much like a snake, But then, unlike snakes, they'll eat that skin to avoid loss of scarce nutrients. They have tiny vomerine teeth inside their mouths and typically eat little organisms of the leaf litter, like insects and spiders, millipedes and centipedes, earthworms, and sometimes even small frogs or newts. They are lungless salamanders and so breathe through the skin, making them, like many amphibians, particularly susceptible to environmental change and environmental pollutants. Like other salamanders, fire salamanders can lose their tail in order to escape predation, and they can regenerate that tail. But even more surprisingly, they can regenerate another limb as well. Some species of fire salamanders can do something that no other salamanders can do. These salamanders keep their eggs internally and then release fully developed and metamorphosized offspring. These salamanders are so amazing in so many ways. They are reported to live up to 50 years in captivity. I hope you enjoyed this episode about the fascinating fire salamander. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.